In this video, we will discuss how FEC forward error correction work in OTN network. FEC, that is forward error correction. FEC, we can say, is one of the big advantage of OTN and you may know the benefits of FEC to identify and correct the transmission error that helps to improve signal quality and when you search on Google or you found in PDF you will found such kind of definition of FPC that say 709 FPC implement read Solomon code that is specified as RSN-K with S bit symbol where N is the total number of symbol per code word and K is the number of information symbol and S is the size of a symbol. And you will find this diagram like data, parity and N is created. And that say encoder take K data symbol and add parity symbol to make N symbol and decoder correct up to three symbol. And 0709 says read Solomon can correct up to 8 symbol in error detection mode and detect up to 16 symbol in error detection mode. When I read or all read, we found like how 255, 239 calculated and how is 8 in correction and 16 in detection. Let's understand this. OTN print that you know we have 4 row and 4080 columns. So, until column 16, it's reserved for overhead bytes where we have frame alignment signal byte, OTUK overhead bytes, where in OTUK overhead bytes we have the FPC data also in column 3825 to 4080 and we have ODUK overhead bytes and OPUK overhead bytes and in column 17 to 3824 we have the data that is our client signal. So 709 FPC says it separate the OTU frame into 4 rows and then each row is divided into 16 sub row. For easy purpose, we will just take one row and then this row will divide into 16 sub row. And here we will send the data in byte interleaving manner. For easy understanding, we will assign some color in the column so that we can identify the byte interleaving manner properly. So for 16 sub row, we will assign some color from column 1 to 16 like first for overhead, then second and till 16 we have the blue color. And then we will repeat the byte from 17 to 32 and 33 to till 3824 and in the last we have the FTC. Now for the first sub row, the first byte, 17 byte and 33rd byte and so on bytes are multiplexed and this leads to 239 data bytes. How? It's 239 calculated. If you look on the columns, we have 3824 columns, and if we divide into 16, we will get 239. And over these 239 data bytes, the FTC parity check is calculated, which leads to the length of 255 bytes of a sub row. That is same according to Reed Solomon 255 by 239 definition. 
I hope you get the first answer why it's 255 by 239. Then the same principle is applied to second subgroup. Till 239 data bytes and we'll add the FTC. And same principle goes till 16th subgroup. And that is the answer for second one in FPC error detection mode we can detect up to 16 symbol error because we are sending the data in 16 sub row. Now if we look on the definition again it say we have the K is the data, 2T is the parity and N is the total number of symbol and encoder take data symbol and add parity symbol to make n symbol code one. So from our example, now we will get our k that is our data is 239. In the parity that is 2t we have the 16 and n we have the 255. And the second definition is decoder can correct up to t symbols that contain error in a code word. So t symbol now from the above will get 8. So in FTC we can correct up to 8 symbol error. If we are not using the FTC then we are sending the 0 stuff in by. So using FTC that is lead the coding gain up to 6.2 dB. Now in the market we have the advanced FTC also available to achieve the more coding gain. Like we have the hard decision FTC, we have soft decision FTC and some FTCs are manufacturer properties are created. Thanks for watching. Hope the concept clear now.